Hello boys and girls, it's me again Etchy 61 Today it's it's about freshwater carp fishing or even calls fishing What I'm basically doing, why I'm doing this, I might as well video I found a few hints and hints from fishermen um, I know there is a lot of this on YouTube but this is how I do mine and how I've got a few hints from my as a fisherman and a few gadgets I brought from Manning's before it closed down and I've got a few little things to go through the way I do it I know other people does it different so I'm gonna give it a shot I wasn't gonna bother I thought no why not I've seen some videos away people does theirs and there's loads so I'm gonna do mine starting off a method feeder little um, plastic bait rings are found on YouTube instead of using a hair rig I'll show you through this and little um, line beads instead of using swivels um, or weight clips I found these little beads you can use to tie your main line on and insert your different hooks if you want to change your hooks on going through them and I found some well I brought some zig zig rigs I'm not supposed to use them where I fish but the other lake I can I'll probably go through that I've learned about using them and attachments that goes onto hooks which you can put about eight nine ten maggots on one little ring that attached to the hook I will go through them later so I'll see you around in a minute I'm just going to set up turn the camera in see you in a moment I, I, this is just my little fishing box I use when I go fishing with me and Josh you know I've got my little weights different weights my method feeders line weights all the different floats I use all different floats, all my little gadgets, hooks, everything, and method feeder stuff, all my gadgets, especially when you got these little hooks to hook through your um, boilies, even maggots, line weights, a few little bits here, and spare batteries. But what I'm actually going through is at the moment is these little things I'm going through look there's the hook I've done I'm going to show you how I found these gadgets which is here these are called zig rigs you've probably seen these before I've seen them on YouTube and I thought I'm going to show you how I do them it's the first time I used them and these are the beads I'm hot about you take these little beads off, one end hooks to the line and the other end you pull and you thread your little lines. And this one, that one, apparently goes into the method feeder. Some of you see with swivels. You pull them out, put your main line in and then the other end you change your hook lengths, whatever you want. And this is a little gadget I was on about, I found. I thought it's a good idea which I'll show you how I use these, where you put your, oh, I don't know, little basely pellets. Put your little pellets in. I'll, I'll show all this. And for starters, this is what I'm on about, which is one of these. I bought these off eBay. <laughs> and this is what I brought eBay. It's one of these. Basically, there's the hook, and that's where your uh, maggots go, which I'll show in a minute. I bought them on eBay. I changed it from a little one instead of using that big one. I swapped them over. I'll explain to you in a minute when I get set up. Let's we'll see how I get on because this is the first time I've done this sort of thing. I wasn't going to do it. And I thought, why not? Everybody else explains their ways. And this is basically things I found at Manning's, 
which I find very useful. Um, this is the last time I went fishing, as I said, it's one of these. As you all know, this is a herring. This is the last time I fished at Warmwell. But what it basically is, is I was fishing at Warmwell, and me and Josh mainly use these sort of weights, which are heavy. Just flick them out, be 50 yards. We were just using these all the time. With a hair rig, one of these. But the person next to us, a young nipper, he was getting five, six carp at a time, various sizes. And I went over what he's doing. And all he's basically doing is using little red beads, blood beads, they're just red pellets. And he was sticking them on there. And he was telling me, using just tiny little weights like that. But he was using these, maybe even smaller. And he was catching left, right and centre. He said, I found out that, he said, I've done you. He said, I'll do, do exactly the same as you, using the big weights. But what I found is, when you're using small weights, really basically like that, he only had one, I put two on. Basically, when when the cart comes along and pull, what you do is pull it along, pull the weight along, and then it catches into his mouth. He said it's so much easier to catch a cart with a smaller hawk when you're going for ten pounds and under. And the other thing I use now is this tubing that goes up the line. That's the main line. I use this tubing now which is ends here with the line. I don't know if it's big three foot. I use that on all my lines now. Apparently I was told this is what they're going to do by law that you must use this tube on your line soon. I don't know how true that is. It's something to do with the line catching on the carp's fins or their scales. Some people's a lot of rubbish. And that is why we're not supposed to use, if I'm finding a lot, ziggy rigs. Because when you use ziggy rigs, if that's a ziggy rig, it actually floats up in the air. You could go up to three and four foot. But my late's not ready to use them. They banned them. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one sooner or later. So that is it basically. I, I will do some more demo putting some stuff together because my rod, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to take the spool off and put an uh, 18 pound spool on and I'm going to turn it into a method feeder. My other rod's set up for a float, which I'll show you later, but mine's a float. And I want this one as a method feeder, which is one of these. I'm going back to these. And I brought a load of 2 mil pellets from Manon's. I bought a load of Manon's when they shut down a load of pellets. And soak them in water apparently and just bung them out on, on here, which is this thing here, if I remember rightly, is that there, got it into there for the old pellets. But I'm going to give a go, these are the little bits I want to try out. I'm just showing you these little things. This is a useful thing for the little plastic thing. I found this brilliant. Apparently, I've seen someone put a plastic thing with a hook on it and go down and put a, in a load of maggots, let it go, and there was a bunch of maggots on one of their rings. But I'm, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to find a sort of stand out and I'm just going to do a couple of things. I want to change over. Thank you. Well, OK. Um, I put my method feeder in and the tube which is on the line and what I have got is off got one of these little beads very tiny I'm going to put that through first this I'm not going to use it I'm going to show how I use it I found these quite good I found these in Menons there's the bead okay this is the main line to me method feeder 
And then you got this little thing here. Thread it through the hole. I'll thread it through the hole. And there you go. And what happened is now, which I ain't gonna do anyway, is pretend I've got that through. And what happened is, give me a few sec, girls and boys. And what you do then, is clip it in. Don't worry about the line sticking out, because I'm not using this bead, because I'm using a method feeder, but I'm using this on my float. What I do if I just get trim that off? Give us five, five, six. If I just trim that off, pretend. And then what happens then? And what happens then? There's the little slit. It's going to be hard to do. So I've got one of these lines. Sorry, one of these. Got me hook. Oh, I've got one here. It was a few slip guys. This is a long one. What you do then, you clip it over, put in a line, pull, which that's not supposed to happen. Get to it now. There's the end bit. This is not the one I'm going to use. I'll give it a pull. Pull it out a little bit. It is fidgety. And then I'll get me line. I'll get me line. Put the loop through, pull. In it goes. Okay. Hold on, I've got a big loop on this thing. Hold on. I don't know how Autista Angler does this. Then push the thing forward. And there you go. This is something. And on the other end is my hook. And then there goes my method feeder. That's that's one of them. I'm using these one run me floats. Instead of using swivels, I'm giving it a go. Bead, they're called beads or something, I can't remember. Right. Bit of problem there. Anyway, I've gone back to the method feeder. Apart from I've done that little bead one. This is a method feeder one. I'm gonna get me line. Put it over. Look for the insert. There you go. It's in. It's in. It's in. You can see the slot and just push that thing a bit to close it up. There you go. There you go. And when I want to change a hook or a longer hook or a short hook, I will um, so I've got my method feeder done. There's your method feeder. That clips up inside. There you go. With me tube. I'll pour the tube. And there's the tube. Make the feeder and tube. Here we go. Make the feeder and tube. Give it a pull and away we go. There you go. These are little beads, some use the swivels, 
but I'll probably use a swivel when I use the other ones. That's my method for you. This is what I'm going to use. Let me have a rod float. A little bit twitchy. I'm not an expert, but this is how I'll do it. And just show you the gadgets I use. And then you've got your green thing when you put your pellets in. So going back to the hook. Okay. Going back to the hook. Going back to the round things. This is what I'm on about. There's your hook. There's the little ring. There's your little ring, which was one of these. If I look for black spot, I've got a load of these. Little, little things. There you go, it just fell off. So I'll put it through the hook and move it up. And there you go. I find these quite good. It's not my day though, I'll tell you. Who's that, Joe? Anything on the floor, just put it on the table and I'll carry it up in there. For fuck's sake, I'm not having much luck at all today. What did you have? They're yellow ones. Just stick them on the table. Hey! Eh? Nah, it's alright, you got it. Most of them's gone on the table. Okay, good. Oh. No, it's all done. It all went your way, didn't they? Mm. Let's uh, drop it that way so they go all that way. I don't think we're in that way. Anymore. So. Awesome. Right. The light is shit. Just not see something. Well. Put it on. Yeah. That's what people got those lights, didn't they? There you go. Just spilt all my um nizons all on the floor. There's me hook. Right, me next. And this one. Files on out. It's gonna be fun putting this through here. So there's the old hook hole. hole. I don't know if it's too big, but there you go. Oh, it goes through quite easy. There you go. Just a little bit there. Yeah, come on. Throw that through. Get in it. And again. And again. Throw that through. There you go. All I'll do is bring that ring. I'm not going to leave this set up. See if I can stick that all the way up a little bit further. Give it a squeeze. I'm having a bit of trouble pulling it out there. But I uh, will get there. There you go. Pull it up. Pull it up. I've got it there. Right, there's that. If I stick that there, now what I've got to do is get this thing. We've got a yellow one. 
you stick this through here I think yeah you stick that through there and then that goes through there as far as I know slide it along there you go take that off and then you snip whatever you want off there you go but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one on there Yeah, that on there go a little bit more so when it goes up and float it, it'll be like that then I'm going to snip this one off because I want to use this one there you go then what I'm going to do and there you go that's how it's supposed to get used Not, don't fit as good as the black one but I don't know I'll have to wait and see someone will correct me and there's that little thing, little zig. So what it is, this is quite a long trace. So basically when it goes in, it go up and it stick up a bit of foot and it just float up. Up in the air. I'll call it like that. So I'm gonna put that one in my tackle box. Dangle, dangle, dangle box, okay. Move that over. Oh, Christ's sake. Stick that up here. Put that right in there. You'll have to excuse me, guys. Bear with me. There you go. Apparently these things, we'll have a go at these, this, I've got a little one, but what you do, you thread all your maggots on there. This bit would be on the, obviously, by the hook. Then you just thread a load of maggots on there. And close it up. Close it up, if I get it. And there you go, but this is, this is just a little demo of me. This is just me, this is why well, I'm not an expert fisherman. And everybody knows I use a lot of these as well. Okay. What I've done, I bought these on eBay. Most of you have probably seen tie your rods up. Be a lot of compartment in there to put your hook. Because what I've done, my line's already set up in this rod. It saves me doing it when I get there. So all I do is strap this up. Strap this up. Strap it up if I'm going the right way. Yeah. Strap this up, get a ring. Strap this up. There you go. That's all strapped up. And then I stick my hook in here. And what am I going to do? Bung that in there. Then you won't get hit by a hook. There you go. There's my little hook in there. So, I've actually, this, I think this is just for one rod, but I'm going to put two rods here. Let's try to cut down on um, packing. It's all NGT real, NGT rods. Mm -hmm. NGT straps. And I've got one here. Which is 
float. I have a float on this one. What I've done now is use floats, got rid of all my other floats. And I've gone for the ones that's got weight on them already. So I don't have to bother with the split shots. And this one. It's the same, so I'll stick that in there. Hopefully I've worked all out properly. Don't know yet, we'll have to wait and see. So, I know this is done, but I might have to come down a little bit on this one. Because I know it fits. I don't want to make it too hard to, to pull away. Look for the zip. I'm going to zip this up. Zip this up. Push that thing over here. Put this over here. I might have to put one of the wheels down a little bit. Just I've got to be done. Zip this up. I want to keep that like that. And what I mentioned about float is I bought some floats with weights on them already. I don't have to worry about the split shots then. They've already counted for little shit about flash shots. Bombard a float. And these boily feed feed your boily through. I've got about three of these now because I keep losing them. It's best to have them spare. Again, I bought a load from Menin's because they shut down. And that's that, really. Okay, that is basically how I want it to set up. Everything's all ready to set up, one method, one float. All I gotta do is put the rods together, put the baits on, cast out, and um, see how it goes. Um, sorry about the lighting. Light, light, lighting's not very good. It's a bit dull. Um, this sort of thing is, is new to me. It's the first time I've done it. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe, like, and notifications. There's more to come.